Welcome to Minecraft Education Edition series on Common Core Math. I'm James Pike and today we're going to be going over third grade standards, numbers and fractions number two. Putting fractions on a number line. So, uh, this let, let's get started. Alright, over here we have a number line. It starts at zero and ends at one. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks between the zero and the one. So that is our denominator, seven. And over here, we're asked to mark one seventh, four seventh, and seven seventh. So get a block and a slate. So first one is one seventh. So this is one, the first one out of seven. So that's gonna go one seventh. Then next one's four seventh, one seventh, two seventh, three seventh, four seventh. And lastly, we have seven seven. So one seventh, two seventh, three seventh, four seventh, five seventh, six seventh, seven sevenths. Wow, what do you notice? Seven sevenths is the same place as one. So seven over seven must be one. So there's the first one. Let's go to the second one. Okay, can you guys take a get take a look at this number line and see how it's cut up? Guess the denominator. Ready, set, go. If you said three, you'd be right. It's one, two, three blocks to one, one, two, three blocks to two, and one, two, three blocks to three. So all the denominators on this will be a three. First one goes one third, and it's the first one. The next one we have is three thirds. So one third, two third, three third. After that, we have five thirds. So one, two, three, four, five. Now take a look. As we cross one, the number on top gets bigger than the number on the bottom. So if the numerator is greater than the denominator, the fraction is greater than one. Students out there, take a look at 9 over 3. Notice how it lands on 3, so 9 over 3 must equal 3. Where have we seen that pattern before? Let's go to the next one. Okay, so this one's divided in the fourths. And we got 3 fourths, so 1, 2, 3. The next one is one and three fourths. So we start at one, then we go one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. So over here, we have one and three fourths. So this is another way to write an improper fraction, which you just saw in one of the other models, like the eight fifths. And the last one we have is two and three fourths. So we find the two. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths. And we get the mixed number of two and three fourths. Now, the last one is pretty cool, especially for um, the activity that we're going to do when we do the horse racing, because these builds in particular become like the, the parts that the horse jumps over. So here you're going to fill a line between three fifths and eight fifths. So first you got to find three fifths. So one fifth, two fifth, three fifth. It's so over here. And then you're gonna go, okay, four fifths, five fifths, six fifths, seven fifths, eight fifths. And then you just simply fill a line between the two places. And now our horse won't be able to jump over this part of the jump but we'll be able to clear here and here. And uh, it also works with mixed numbers. So here's four fifths going to one and three fifths. So four fifths will be right here. One fifth, two fifth, three fifth, four fifth. And then we're gonna do one and three fifths. So we start at one, then we go one, two, three. Four. 
and it says draw a line between them. All right, let's make this perfect and put a sign on it. And that's how you put fractions on a number line in Minecraft. Watch the next video on how to apply it to our steeplechase. This is James Pike signing out saying stay crafty.